This is the front end of an AA5 superheterodyne radio, tube radio. And we have two highly tuned transformers called IFs, and they are tuned to 455 kilohertz. Very high Q circuits, very selective. And the idea behind superheterodyne is you mix frequencies together. And the superheterodyne has its own local oscillator. That's in the 12 BE6. And when that tube starts to conduct, the magnetic field starts to expand, cutting across the secondary winding, producing an output that is more positive, causing the tube to conduct more because it's on the control grid of that tube. And that will continue until it can't go any farther. In other words, kind of run out of gas. Uh, there's no more voltage. So when that happens, the magnetic field starts to collapse. And now the opposite is happening in the secondary. It's becoming less positive, which also adds to the tube uh, going in the other direction because now the grid is not as positive. So positive feedback is when the tube starts to conduct. The feedback from the secondary coil helps in that process. And when it starts in the other direction, the secondary, the feedback from the secondary also helps in that uh, process when it becomes less positive. Now, this 12BE6 also does the mixing, and we get the station frequency from the antenna. And the local oscillator and the station frequency are mixed together in this tube. And here is a demonstration of mixing frequencies. I'm using colors in Photoshop elements, but colors are frequencies. I have an empty palette here, and I have two layers. If we look over in the upper right, a yellow layer and a blue layer. Uh, turn on the yellow layer here. I'll turn that off. Turn on the blue layer. Now watch when I turn them both on. I have the mix set up on these already and when I have them both on we get a green. Now I'm going to move the yellow layer here. Move that back a little bit and now we can see the blue coming in. I'm going to click on the blue layer and I'm going to move it back and now we can see the yellow. So we're getting a mix here. And depending if you add or subtract the blue frequency and the yellow frequency you'll get different colors right now we have green let me flip the yellow down below the blue and watch what happens different color like I said before if you add or subtract our two original the blue and yellow if you add them you get one color and if you subtract them you get another color or another frequency. What we saw in the video was when we subtract two colors two different frequencies we get one result and if we add them together we get another result. Well this also happens in the superheterodyne 
we start off with the station frequency. We have four major lobes. The next major lobe is the local oscillator. And the next two major lobes is we add it together or we subtract them. So that's where the four major lobes come from. And we use the minus because that will utilize the 455 kilohertz, which is below the band, the AM band. And of course, that is not an accident. Now, I have this radio tuned to 850 in this next video. And here's what I added up if we take 850 kilohertz and add 455 kilohertz, we end up with 1,305 kilohertz. And that's what we'll see on this video. And then I'll tune the radio to 680. And if we add 455 to that, that station will be tuned in when the oscillator is at 1,135 kilohertz. Here's the setup, the AA5 radio on the workbench, and I've got the frequency counter set up so I can get a good picture of it operating with the camera, and it is hooked up to the control grid of the 12BE6. Okay, I've got this frequency counter on pin 1 so we can measure the frequency of the oscillator. And as you can see, we got 1305. And if we subtract 455 from that, we get the radio station frequency of 850, which is where this is at. And they're not playing tunes right now, so we can turn this up a little bit. Perfect vehicle to match your drive. So, what drives you? Find out at Thompson Cars. ThompsonCars.net. We are professional grade. Oldies 850. The Triangle's good time oldies. Okay, they're going to start playing again. So now I'm going to go to WPTF. which uh, is at 455 from that. Now this is kilohertz, of course. You get 650, uh, 680, which is WPTF. And let's see if, if they'll tell us who they are. They're crossbody bags for your weed stash. Monica Ricks, CBS News. Guess you could say his fans are delighting in the rapper's new choice. 
648 is your WPTF news time. It's time for a look at traffic, and here is Craig Green. Thank you so much, Chris, from are. the Johnson Hyundai Traffic Center. Things are moving steadily across the map right now. Uh, no real delays or slowdowns on the. So we had two examples of uh, using the oscillator, subtracting 455 because that's the IF frequency, 455 kilohertz. And we get the AM station frequency. Here's an overview of that radio, the entire wiring diagram. And while I'm here, I might as well go through the rest of it now that we have our 455 kilohertz signal. And that we can pick off right here at the second IF. And it's typical AM modulation. But if you take a look at that, if you drew a line down the center between the top and bottom, they both add up to zero. So even though there's a lot of energy there, we can't detect it because you've got as much positive as you got negative. So the next step in the superheterodyne is to detect this audio signal. And all they do is just cut it in half. And that's done with this diode. And what that does is now it does not add up to zero. We can now detect the audio. But we still got 455 kilohertz on this signal. We don't want to amplify that. We only want the audio. And that's what this capacitor does. It drains off that 455 kilohertz. And when it goes through the resistor over to the volume control and passes through the dot zero zero two capacitor, microfarad capacitor, we end up with just the audio. And this audio is amplified and sent over to the output tube and now it's got enough energy to drive a speaker. Thanks for watching.